Welcome back. In this video, I want to talk specifically on communication and how to connect with each other via Teams. There's a few different ways to do this, each with a different purpose and flow to it. So we're going to go over specifically using Teams, channels, and private DMing or messaging. So I hope you stick around. So first of all, in the last video, we talked about channels and we talked about teams. If you didn't see that, I suggest you go back and take a look. If you look over here, we have our channels and we can have a specific discussion in there. Like I mentioned in the last video, we can tag people, but this is more of a group discussion. So when you need to talk to the entire staff or you're brainstorming or sharing ideas, the general channel is typically where you want to do that. This replaces the email thread and keeps everybody's box a little bit cleaner. This is a great place to talk about big ideas, events, things that are going on, or to share information. Because so we can actually do quite a bit in this. So we can have a discussion, but we can also share files. I can copy files from my computer or from my OneDrive and share them right in this chat. If I want somebody to specifically look at a file, I can send it as I would a text or something else like that. Now, that being said, you can actually download Teams on your phone. And once you do, you can type just like a text message and send information back and forth through this channel. And you can do that with the other channels as well. Similarly, you can also like, com you know, you can like, heart, laugh, things like that to people's comments that usually if you don't need a full reply, it's a great way to say, I read it, I noticed it, and move on. You can also speak in some of these private channels. Like I said, if they're locked, only people with that designation can see it. I always suggest tagging people if it's important. Besides that, there is the chat feature. So the chat feature is really, really, really useful. This allows us to communicate with a single or group of individuals. This is great when you're trying to talk about something specific. If I'm trying to talk to somebody without singling out them out in the group chat, I want to go over here. This is sometimes referred to as a DM or a direct message. And I can do that with a tag. We showed tags in the last video, a group, an email address, or a single individual. This is typically where you go when you need to talk about something more personal or private. This is a single conversation. I like to think of the Teams channels as various conference rooms. The DM is more my office. This is my place to speak to somebody one-on-one -on -one about something. So I can connect with them right here. And so I can send them a message just with the same features I had before. I can also mark it as important or anything like that. And we can do a few other things. So not only that, but once I've started a chat, I now have the ability to do quite a few things. I can do a FaceTime video call directly to that individual, or I can call them like I would on a phone call by just pressing one of these two buttons. I can also share my screen directly to them. So if I wanna show somebody what I'm working on, I can click that button and share my screen with them through this chat log. I can also see when somebody is available or unavailable. This is also really good information to have. As you can see right now, I have set myself to focusing. So show people that it's probably not the best time to message me, or I can say I'll be right back when I'm stepping away, or I can say I'm busy or available. So same as I consider this kind of like your office door. This is your chance to say that it's open or closed. And looking over here, I can see that Melissa is available, uh, but that somebody else might not be. They might be busy or unavailable. I can also have a spot for sharing files specifically with that individual, and I can drag and drop them right into here from my various folders, or I can upload a file I want to send to that person directly. So I no longer have to use email attachments. I can do it straight in the chat log. So we want to chat and have most communication through a system like this. This keeps things really focused in one area and helps keep things separated and not have too much in the email or Outlook box because we all know how cumbersome that can be. So yet again, thanks for watching this video. Next time we're gonna talk about file sharing and OneDrive, which is a great place to pick up from where we left off. Thanks for sticking around.